This video will demonstrate how to enhance a Siltest Workbench visual test by inserting a verification. This verification will evaluate a user-defined condition and send a passed or failed message to the results. For this video, I will use the verification example provided in the Siltest Workbench visual test tutorial, which is available for download from the Sportline website. This example uses our AutoQuote browser application I am now playing back a small pre-recorded visual test that automates an autocode process. I will then demonstrate how you can edit this test and add the verification. With the test now complete, I will go to the visual test. I'm going to select the step where I wish to insert the verification. For this example, I'm going to insert verification to ensure that the insurance quote used the correct vehicle model. In the screen preview, you can right click and choose to zoom to ensure that the model control is clearly seen. With your test step selected, please right click, choose insert, test logic, verification. The verification dialog will then appear. In this tutorial, we're going to verify the property of control. So select the identify from screen preview. In the screen preview, select the model. Next, select the property we wish to verify. In this case, we're going to choose text and then enter the expected value that you wish to verify. and choose next. Now I'm going to build the verification. So I'm going to enter a message that will appear in the result detail if the verification passes and a message if the verification fails. Choose next. We'll see the summary page and finish. I will now go back to my visual test and you will see the verification step is now entered into the visual test along with a verification pass and field message. I will now run this visual test again that includes the verification. Remember in this example, I'm verifying the model. So with the model now selected, Siltest will then perform the verification step. With the test now complete, I'll go back to Workbench, go to the results of my test, select the details tab, scroll down to the verification step and you'll now see that my condition has passed and the model is actually correct. To only see the verification pass steps, I can select the pass tab and that will show me the verification pass details also. That concludes my video on inserting a verification into Silt Test Workbench visual test.